Hi guys, and as usual, welcome to another care review. All right, so today, as you can see, we're doing a kit from Tamiya, 135th scale. It is their SDKFZ2 Clients Kit and Craft Rod. Okay, so the kit number for this one is 35029. Came out in 1988. Still available. Uh, they did reissue this one in uh, 2021. Kit number for that was 35377. Basically the same kit with the inclusion of some PE grills for the engine compartment behind the driver. Apart from that, almost exactly the same. Uh, this kit originally came out in 1973. Kit number was uh, double M129. So there isn't a great deal of difference except this particular one. Um, this just has a plastic engine. The original 1973 kit had a die cast engine in it. How do I know that? Simply put, I've got two of these. Okay, this is the original 1973 version and right there is your die cast engine, which lends it a bit of weight. Okay, this one's not in bad shape. The other one does need some work. I have started to repaint this. Uh, it does still have a lot of work to be done on it. Okay, so that is the original 1973. Let's have a look at what you get in the 1988 version. Okay, so you do get the and the short version for Ket and Krat Rad. All right is basically Kettenkrad. means the same thing in German. You get driver figure and two infantry figures. One's carrying an MG42, the other one is carrying his ammo can. You do get the option of giving these guys caps or helmets and changing their weapon layout. Okay, so standard boxer art from Tamiya. White, white background, vehicle in profile on the side basic Japanese history you do get the trailer as well okay so you do get this whole thing on the other side other kits from Tamiya their classic 88 their Gaz and their Hannah Mag, which all of which are still available okay and all of which came out originally in the 70s okay so that's the box let's have a look and see what's inside instructions of course in this case these are later instructions because they don't have the Japanese version inside. We'll have a look at those shortly. And you do have one bag of sprues with the decal sheet. And yes, this looks like almost the original decal sheet. All right, and that's it. So in a second, we'll have a look at the instructions and carry on with the sprues. Okay, so the instructions are a basic fold-out sheet. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. You do have a history, development history of the Ket and Krad, okay? With the usual um, specifications as far as length is concerned. On the front, you do have painting and applying decals and also the uh, painting of the figures, okay? Some brief instructions about painting of... Um, German military. You do have basic paint callouts. All right, trailer, etc. For dark yellow, red, brown, and dark green. All right, but literally you could paint this any color you wanted to with on top of the standard dark yellow. All right, it does, oddly enough, only show you decals for the Reichswehr and also Luftwaffe. Although I do note. That there are in fact SS uh, symbols and tactical symbols included, but of course I guess they're being politically correct and smart because in some countries of the world you can't have SS symbols and swastikas etc. Okay, so that's the front. So there's your paint callouts. All right, as usual, Tamiya paints only. On the other side, instructions fairly simple, straightforward. Starts off with the front wheel and the forks and the trailer 
okay then you put the sides together put the engine in close it all up this particular engine cover is um, you can open and close it okay um, in the later version which is the 2021 release you replace the grills here with PE mesh okay then you just put the sides the fuel tank covers are going on the back seat tracks are one piece with wheels that go inside all right fairly straightforward very easy kit to build all right very small kit but really good great for a beginner and then you just have your driver's seat okay mirrors gear lever knob etc you do get some basic instruct, um, instructions sorry accessories you do get a radio and some jerry cans to put in the trailer if you want or you do have a canvas cover to go on the trailer and that is it fairly simple fairly straightforward on the side here you'll see just the instructions on putting the figures together and you do get Panzerfaust or MG42 okay or just this gentleman with a basic K98 rifle okay so you can tell this is an earlier kit because it does actually have the sprue layout most Tamiya instructions do not include a sprue layout okay so that is your instructions for the kit and grab let's have a look at the decals okay so bring them up closer so you can see and these decals were reprinted in 2001 even though this kit originally came out in as i said 1988 so they do keep them upgraded and yes there are helmet decals and yes there are ss decals and ss number plates okay but of course in certain countries i assume that this side of the decal sheet would probably be cut out so you don't get them and you do have two Luftwaffe units and two Wehrmacht units okay and two SS units for this so it basically covers six units but I'll give you a close-up of that anyway so you can have a really good look okay so let's have a look at the sprues so there are only three sprues in this kit the running gear the main body and of course the figure sprue so let's have a look at the first one out which is the running gear okay fairly simple fairly straightforward as you can see all right doesn't have individual tracks it is a very easy kit to build you do put these extra wheels on here and apart from that she's done okay fairly simple running gear these are the tires for the trailer all right this is the axle for the trailer and a tarpaulin rolled up front forks you do get jerry cans okay and these are one piece well kind of one piece jerry cans um handlebars of course this is your motorcycle front for the kitten tread and the trailer and you do get a radio okay which is a nice inclusion as an accessory all right so and it is quite nice detail so let's have a look at that so there's your radio okay um you'd probably have to have a look online to see if you could find this particular unit to do a bit of detailing you'll do it a style you do have some texturing on the canvas cover stretch marks basically that's your trailer inside fairly plain not much to see front motorcycle section and to show you how simple this kit is okay there's your no tech light okay and your number plates all inclusive in one bit all right front forks there's your track section there is a bit of cleanup on the mold lines as you can see all right this is a fairly old kit all right this came out this particular one supposedly came out in 1988 and it is as far as i can see almost identical to the one that came out in 1973 so 
this mold has been around for a while so there will be a bit of cleanup along the mold lines but it does have some nice tread pattern on those tires okay so that's pretty good when you consider they're molded from the top and bottom and not from the sides okay so there's the running gear let's have a look at this one okay so this is your body this is the bottom part this is the top these are basically your fuel tank sections okay your sides and your engine so let's have a look at the engine so as i said the 1973 version had a die cast engine and this one just has a plastic engine you do get some um pipes and etc few details very basic engine okay very basic All right that's your air cleaner and pipes that go on the engine your mirrors there's your gear lever etc okay fairly standard fairly straightforward this is your engine cover section as i said in the later 2021 2021 Yes, 2021 version you do have pe to replace the grill work and that is quite thin so you could cut that out if you wanted to but there is a fair bit of flash on places all right i can already see flash on bits and pieces that will need to clean up so this mold is starting to get a bit tired at least this particular one i haven't got a 2021 one they're run about 40 dollars um for a kitten cred it's a bit overpriced hopefully they have upgraded the mold a little bit okay and that's your driver's seat all right so that's basically it very simple kit to put together as i said great beginner's kit great little kit for a weekend okay not much to it right let's have a look at the figures okay so these figures are and i'm pretty sure these are the original 1973 figures because they are quite crude okay you get two infantry figures your driver figure k98s okay gas mask containers usual bread bags etc mg42 and a panzerfaust you get three helmets and two caps all right so let's have a look at the figures and i'll give you close-ups of these anyway so as you can see there's a lot of flash on these figures that's why i think these are the original 1973 figures and the mold has just been reused the faces are quite crude in fact this guy looks like he's got dots holes for eyes okay there is a lot of cleanup the detail is nice on the uniforms they're not super crisp we'll need a fair bit of work to make these guys look quite reasonable let's have a look at this guy there you go and yes there is a fair bit of flash and clean up oops sorry fair bit of flash and clean up around the mold line so these are an old mold there is your mg42 okay oh, come on focus for me there you go that's not too bad i do like that mg42 it's quite a nice bit of detail on it panzerfaust water bottles helmets let's have a look at these 
Okay, standard German helmets, forage caps, indicated that these are original. These are the bases for the figures to be mounted to. Most of Tamiya's newer figures don't get a base. Okay, let's have a look at the K98s. And there is a fair bit of flash around the mole lines on that. So we'll need a bit of cleanup. Okay. And literally that is the last brew. So that's the figure sprue. It is definitely the original figure sprue. Well, better not lose him. Okay. Okay, and that's it, guys. That is Tamiya's FDKFZ2 Kleiner Kittenkraft Crud. Okay, kit number 35029. Came out in 1988. Has been re reissued. Uh, kit number 35377 in 2021. So, hopefully, upgraded moulds, especially for the figures, because it looks almost exactly the same and still a reasonable little kit to put together really nice uh, weekend kit beginners kit all right very simple construction but it does give you a really nice little model okay that's it as i said that's the end of it as usual thank you for your likes comments subscriptions and until next time Take it easy, and I'll see you later.